Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm gonna uh, show you why there is a big difference between the number of triangles in the stats window between here and the actual meshes for our model. Uh, let's begin the tutorial. Okay, so there are in overall three tips that I'm gonna talk. So first is uh, remove unnecessary renderer feature and about the light, shadow off or big and wilt vertices. So then uh, let's see, we have here uh, a train and then a simple train and uh, I am using, if I go to the edit project setting, I am using quality URP high fidelity and uh, of course, that's a URP forward render, right? So now the problem is uh, this train, which I'm going to show you the, the meshes. If I go to the meshes, then you will see in the meshes that the number of trees is 33,000 and the vertices is uh, 16, almost thousands, right? So, but if I go to the game mode and then uh, let's say don't rely on these numbers here, the triangles and vertices. So, although these are not matched, right? 33 and it's almost 10 times or 7 times, I don't know. Just play and then we will see a large difference again between these numbers and these two numbers in play mode. So uh, why? What's the reason, right? So right now I am not gonna. I, I I am not using any VR. If you see, this is not even VR, right? So first, it's just the Unity for now. Go to the analysis and then here go to the frame debugger. In the play mode, just enable it. You will see. The number of events here. These are very important in terms of performance. So Unity is going through 18 events for each in each frame to render these pictures or sorry this scene, right? So let's click on the first and then. So first thing first, Unity is uh, reading this event, right? It doesn't have any triangles and vertices. It goes to the main light shadow where it adds 1035 triangles. Why? Because of just shadow. So now there are two options. So I can, for now, I am just in play mode. I am just applying the changes to see the difference, but you need to stop. And then uh, you will go here and then apply the changes afterward, right? So I'm gonna just turn off the shadow. So for the texture here, you need to do this individually since we have just one texture. So I'm just gonna uh, uncheck it. And then here lighting, I'm just turning off. So now if I go to the frame debugger, you will see that four events is already gone. And now we don't have but then now the tri triangle is 69,000, right? It's very good now. We have almost saved uh, more than half, right? And here in the event, there is no any shadow. So let's go again. These are not important here. The depth normal prepass or SSAO. So what does this mean? So I just searched and then I found out that uh, since I am using high fidelity, high fidelity URP, then if I go to this renderer, I found that this is a feature from the URP high fidelity renderer and that's a screen space ambient occlusion. I'm gonna just turn it off. And now if I go to the render again, you will see just, 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 just eight events, right? It's Again, we are removing many unnecessary events, right? Although that ambient occlusion is important when you want to give 
the graphic but for VR and for to be very optimized then we can you know there is no any difference between this for example train and the the, the previous one right so then here we have now the number of triangles and vertices is almost matching with the number of triangles and vertices here right so there is a little bit difference right and that's because of the skybox so if i go to the frame debugger and then you will see for example until here it's exactly the same right and then if i go here the render skybox added some vertices right so i mean we need skybox right so i'm just gonna go to the camera and turn it off to see what's the the impact right and right now you will see that this model is exactly matched so for each and every model we should be in a position to check the frame debugger to see any unnecessary events and then we need to just remove those because VR needs optimized, very optimized even from a mob it should be more optimized than mobile you know why? because we have two eyes in VR, right? so I'm gonna just now attach my Oculus now I'm gonna just stop it and then probably some of these uh, events haven't applied just see gonna just let's say because it was in play mode right so I'm gonna go to the edit uh, sorry settings and here yes this one is applied already and then the shadow off and then this is off also and then uh, so one more thing is uh, if I run it then it will show the triangles as the same right okay now it's perfect so i'm gonna just add the the vr headset so that i need some time to just fix this one so i'm adding the, the vr headset and now if i run it then see the triangles and vertices you will see it's double counting right so why so what's the reason if I go to the frame debugger then you will see that uh, there are a couple of events added like occlusion occl image but these are nothing like it's just hundreds and this this event which is that there are objects because we have now two eyes right we have two eyes so the VR needs to basically render for each eye separately so it double counts the, the number of triangles uh, so it doesn't really matter if that's a multi-pass or a single pass it will add so make sure that you apply uh, these changes and for the VR the triangles will be double of these numbers which we have in the meshes right just one more thing is you may ask that why you turn off the shadow so instead of turning off the shadow you can simply go to the lighting and then bake go here and then generate lighting I will create another video for the baking so that the the bay or the shadow is static on the ground right now if you just disable the shadow there is no shadow right but if you bake it there is a shadow but the shadow is constant it doesn't move based on because this is the ground okay and one more thing is about the last one the build vertices i just noticed that in some of the applications or models uh, there is an option here called build vertices so when you are turning on then uh, if you if you apply right then we will see that the vertices is 8000 right now okay and it doesn't it, it didn't affect on the three angles but the vertices is lower but if i just turn it off or uncheck it the vertices is so try to 
play with this one sometimes it's the other way around if you turn it off or uncheck it then it will improve your performance so this is just something else to uh, your mind thank you very much